So um, this is why this can be a nine mark question. There's a lot of facets to this. There's a lot of things that you can talk about. So let's look at one example and pick the first of these, the availability of reagents. So one important process is the Solvay process and the goal product of the Solvay process is sodium carbonate. Now sodium carbonate is produced through a series of reactions that start with um, sodium chloride, which is usually in the form of brine, which is very salty water. So it's, it's water with a high salt concentration and the ocean can be a very simple source of that. Um, and then the um, other important reactant is calcium carbonate. And calcium carbonate's uh, simplest source is limestone. So this could be from a quarry uh, or some other source where we have to um, basically cut out the limestone and then we've got to move that limestone to our site. When we're talking about the availability of reagents, we're talking about where is this going to come from? Where is this going to come from? Now, one interesting thing about the hub, about the Solvay process, and this is a big process, so it's not something that um, happens just in this one single step. There's a number of different steps associated with this. But as I said, we have to give you these things. We're not going to expect you to know about the Solvay process, but if we gave you this, and we said ammonia is also used as part of the um, process of producing uh, sodium carbonate, but it is something that is recycled. So we do need to source it initially, but when, once we have a supply of ammonia, we can then recycle it and recover the ammonia uh, at different steps through this process. And of course, I mentioned earlier the Haber process, and the Haber process is the process that allows us to produce ammonia through the reaction of nitrogen and hydrogen. So if we were going to locate our industry, we'd have to consider um, factors like, um, is there a limestone mine close by? Is there a source of salt water? If there isn't, how are we going to get that? And where am I going to source my ammonia? The ammonia is a smaller component of what we want here and it's going to be recycled, so it's probably um, lower on the importance scale. Um, water is going to be a liquid. We're going to have to try and move it as a liquid, whereas the limestone we're going to have to move as a solid. So we think about our transport systems, trains, trucks, planes, uh, what's going to be the easiest thing? And it's obviously easier for us to be able to move large amounts of solid limestone than it will be large amounts of liquid uh, salt water. We're going to have to keep moving a lot of that in order to produce it in the quantities that we need. So often what you'll find is, is uh, Solvay plants are located somewhere close to the uh, coast, somewhere with, within excess of the uh, ocean, but also somewhere that's not too far from a limestone mine. And then um, if there happens to be a Haber plant somewhere nearby, that's allowing the production of ammonia as well. Well, that's perfect in terms of the availability of reagents. So we just need to think, where are these different uh, reactants coming from? Are there any catalysts? Is there anything else that we need that's going to be part of this process as one of the key factors that we're looking at for our chemical synthesis? But there are more, and we'll cover those on future videos. Thanks for watching.